Scott Derner here. Today we're going to talk about the forehand, my favourite shot and probably the only shot I can hit really well, in my opinion. Better than Sean's anyway. What I want to talk about here is, first of all, the stance, okay? It doesn't matter if you're going to use the open stance, the semi-closed stance, or the closed stance. Either way, we want to be balanced when we hit, okay? So just for argument's sake, I'm going to do this sort of the semi-open stance here, which is probably the most common stance. So when I get set for my forehand, I really want to make sure that my base is strong. Just like we talked about with the backhand, any shot in tennis, you've got to have that strong foundation because the power comes from the legs up in any stroke. So combine that now, I've got my strong base. Okay, I've got my grip over here ready. I'm going to really turn, okay? The unit turn here, I'm going to get my body turned. Huge important part here. The left hand, the off hand or the non-dominant hand is really going to play a huge role here in the stroke, just like it does on the backhand and a lot of the other strokes. So here, boom, I'm going to, my, if you notice, my left hand is pretty much parallel here to the baseline. Super important. I don't want to be like this pointing because I'm not getting, my shoulders aren't going to turn together if one's pointing this way and the other one's going that way. So really important, hands are together. My, my left hand is on the throat of the racket. Boom, I'm getting that uh, arm back parallel to the baseline. So as I'm doing that, my shoulders are turning, okay? My grip's pointed down a little bit this way. So I'm going to loop back. So that's my move here. I'm started. Boom, unit turn, loop back, left arm in this position. So once I'm in this position here, I'm loaded, I'm coiled, and I'm ready to, to extend and sort of do the follow through of the stroke. So here, I get loaded, my loop. Okay, once I get to here, my right arm's gonna really loosen. I'm gonna drop the racket head, and then from this position, I'm gonna really drive through low to high as fast as possible in a whip-like motion, okay? So again, getting that racket down and then really accelerating here, head still. I don't want to open up too quickly because I'll lose my body position and weight. So head still, hitting through the ball, extending out all the way through, catching the racket. Of course, there are a couple of different variations with the follow through. Nadal using the buggy whip or the reverse forehand and also a forehand here where I'm going to abbreviate, put a little more spin on the ball. Those can be used in different circumstances depending on where the opponent is and where the ball is in terms of height. So, but just for this example, I'm just gonna use that nice long follow through catching the racket. You're gonna start low, finish high, get some height over the net, get trajectory, there's your forehand. So please leave some any, any feedback, any, any comments you might have. Sean and I enjoy reading them and responding and I hope you enjoyed the video.